Welcome back to consecutive day 1194 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about the beginning of a new venture. So uh, remember to give this a subscribe, share, like, and comment as the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved, is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, and let's get started. So, consecutive day, 1,194 of a diary of a rumpreneur. And uh, yeah, today's topic is the beginning of a new venture. And uh, I'm still doing everything I was doing before, but uh, I've been speaking recently about new opportunities, how they can unearth themselves, how they can present themselves when you least expect them. And you have a decision to make when one gets presented to you. And um, this morning we, uh, agreed the lease on a new commercial unit which is uh, going to be operated as a cafe. Now um, kind of a little bit against my usual strategy of, um, of leverage in particular, in particular and I've followed a principle with new ventures before using MJ DeMarco's uh, one of these famous entrepreneurs uh, authors who I've uh, been following for some time now and he has a uh, an acronym called Sense, as you can obviously, that's Sense as in American, Sense as in uh, the currency, so you can tell he's American. But it, what it means is, when you analyse a new opportunity, you look at the five um, point, points, key points, to determine how likely that is to be successful. So the first one is, um, C is um, control. So uh, is there any kind of universal controlling power which could shut your business down in a heartbeat uh, and a cafe not really okay there are certifications and compliance you need to follow but that's industry standard and pretty straightforward if you stay clean you shouldn't have any problems in that regard so in terms of control there's not really any um big parties in there who are gonna cause us a major issue i guess we have a, a landlord and landlady but that's what longer term leases are for so um so that's um that's fine e is for entry okay how easy is it to enter into the market well in the village that i live in there's very few premises that are suitable for a cafe operation so entry into the willingham market is fairly restricted or limited and also you have the cost of entry which is although not you know bankruptcy level um, it's uh, enough to make people think twice. So entry is, uh, is there. So um, N is need. Okay, so is there a need for this business? Now, okay, we are geographically limited because it's a, um, it's a, um, a cafe and it's only going to serve people within the surrounding areas. But there is the ability to have a kind of consumable market which we could turn into e-commerce, which could expand. So although it's, it's, um, the need is limited to the, the surrounding area, um, there are opportunities to venture further and beyond into e-commerce. So again, not perfect, but it's okay. Uh, T is time. How much time is it gonna take? Well, I, unfortunately I'm fairly well versed at systemizing and scaling businesses. So I know I've got, my business operating system in place. Once I've done all the setup and put everything into place, my time in terms of reliance on me will be nearly nothing. Okay, it will be front loaded. So I've already got a plan in place to, I'll never be a part of the operational side of the business. And uh, S is for scale. So um, what's the scalability of it? Can you exp exponentially grow? And um, with scale, I look at this and I think, well, I've seen a gap in the industry for what we're going to be offering, a more health conscious operation. Yes, there's probably several other cafes, but it's a micro cafe. It's small, we keep the overhead tight, the risk level low. We have um, uh, a chef who has been working in Michelin star restaurants doing the food planning. So that's going to create our kind of USP. Now he's not going to be cooking it, but creating the recipes and the trainings for 
our chefs to do. So it's going to be very much a systems based model and all of our training materials will be systemized, put in standard operating procedures that can be replicated across multiple branches. So if this works, we'll then look to introduce new branches. So um, in the surrounding area initially, and then further afield. So I believe it does have scalability, especially with the, the low financial input that's required to get started. Um, and with the right systems and processes in place, I think it's got a huge potential. I'm just going past someone, so just bear with me a second. Afternoon. So, um, so it does, it kind of, it's not game changing yet, but I think it's got enough potential to be game changing. And as someone who spends a lot of time in cafes, I love drinking coffee. It's, it's, a, it's something that I feel strongly about and I feel there's a real need for something like this to serve the local community that I've grown up in. So there's an underlying purpose as well. Um, myself and the other partner are both kind of keen athletes uh, partner support her kind of competes at kind of international level in jiu-jitsu and I've been a former two-time Guinness World Record holding uh, runner, long distance runner and I've got big philanthropic act activities and challenges ahead so it all kind of links into our purpose as well with a healthy fueling station if you like so um yeah I'm super excited and I think the moral to the story today is if an opportunity has presented itself and it passes your criteria for something that you can you can make work um have a go life's too short you obviously have to look at the risk element what's the worst case scenario well i have investment funds ready for ventures like this and uh, i've been holding back on them for some time so this is really really exciting it's low costing i think the R return on capital employed will be significant i'm thinking somewhere in the region of 300 percent possibly 400 percent i.e. meaning within three months I should get my initial investment back. That would be the plan. So, and then it's going to be exponential profit from there onwards. So uh, I'm super excited about it. Um, I'll keep you posted on what happens. Um, as always, any questions or comments, drop me a line or respond to everyone. Remember to give this a subscribe, share, like and comment. As the more people we get in front of, the more money we raise on my fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. All the information about the challenge, how you can get involved is in the link in the comments below. Thank you as always, stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you again tomorrow.